Getting an internship as a software developer in Germany is extremely challenging, even though the market indicates a shortage of IT professionals. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I secured my internship as a software developer in Germany, how to stand out from the competition of young educated Germans, and I'm going to share also some strategies and tactics to refine your resume. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share my personal opinion on how to rank among the top 1% of candidates and get selected for an interview. For those who don't know me, hi, my name is Jesse. I'm a software developer doing an internship in a German media company. I'm originally from Italy and I moved four years ago to Germany to pursue a career in IT. German's IT industry is facing a significant challenge, a shortage of skilled workers. According to Kununu, a leading German language employer review platform in the DAC region, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, the IT sector is ranked first as the best industry to work in in 2024 with a score of 4.05 out of 5. A internship or Ausbildung in German as a software developer is the easiest way to gain hands-on experience and break into the IT sector in Germany. You need to know that before I started my internship, I attended a language school to improve my German. I began at the A2 level, completing the whole language course in one year year finishing with a B2 level. I was able to do this because I worked in Germany for nearly two years. In the third year in Germany, I was unemployed. So I decided to pursue a language course to get closer to my goal of either starting a internship as a software developer or attend the university studying business IT or computer science. An internship in Germany typically requires at least a B2 level of German. Without these language skills, you significantly reduce your chances of securing a internship. Over the past two years, I've had interviews with multiple IT companies. The reality is that in most companies, you will speak German daily. English is only used occasionally if at all. Of course, this varies depending on the company size. Smaller companies or public sector organizations primarily use German and you are probably not going to speak English. But I would say that larger companies may offer more flexibility with the language. Another reason why you need at least a B2 level of German it's because it's the main language used in school. An apprenticeship in Germany is divided in two parts. You will spend 40% of your time in school and 60% at work until your final exam. Only two subjects are taught in English, English and programming. However, Programming is often taught in German, so I wouldn't rely on it being in English. I hope you're grasping the importance of knowing the language. Let's take a closer look at the interview process. I landed my internship after applying to 12 companies. Out of those, I had four interviews and received two offers. The interview process varied across companies. Some of these companies provided coding problems to solve at home, Others conducted assessment style interviews with logical reasoning, math, spatial reasoning test, while some simply looked for candidates who had already built websites or completed projects. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in a video about the interview process as a software developer in Germany. And also make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Now back to the video. I was able to secure my internship as a software developer by solving two coding problems given by the interviewer. And I had some uh, fundamental uh, knowledge about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and also AWS cloud technologies. But technical skills are not always what lends you the job. After a couple of months working there, I was told that they offered me the role because I was a good fit with the team culture. These are the skills that helped me land this internship, but your experience might be different. To truly stand out, consider doing the following. Learn German to a solid B2 level where you can have a conversation and explain your code or complex topics. Remember that you are competing against 18 year old Germans who have completed their rigorous final state exams or Abitur and they are deciding between going to university or going 
to a internship as a software developer to gain hands-on experience. Learn the basics, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and build a small project. There are countless of free online resources to educate yourself and create something impressive to discuss during the interviews. I personally think that we are fortunate to live in an era where high quality education in our field is available online for free. Okay, now, Let's take a closer look at things that will increase your chances of landing your first interview. If you have completed any IT related courses or training in the recent years, highlight those skills and include a few detailed points about what you've learned or built during that time. Another key aspect to consider is the cover letter. If you are a foreigner and submit a cover letter in English, Trust me, you are drastically decreasing your opportunities of getting an interview. Write the cover letter in German. Of course, make it professional, but at the same time personal and try to also address all the key points related to IT. Everything that I've discussed so far will place you in the top 10% of software developer internship candidates. In order to reach the top 1% and significantly increase your chances of being selected, you need a EU citizenship or a EU passport. Most German companies prioritize local talent who can easily go through or navigate the education and training system to become highly skilled developers. They rarely hire candidates from outside of Germany or those who are at risk of leaving the country for unknown reasons. I've heard countless stories of people who didn't get a role just because of this and I know it's unfair, but that's the reality of the market. The only exception is when a position is particularly unattractive, perhaps due to the niche or a legacy technology that is being used inside the company. If you made it to the end of this video, I would like to show you what a day in the life looks like as a software engineer intern. Click here to check it out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you find this useful.